Hey everybody, it's David Dugdale, learningdslrvideo.com. So about seven months ago, I bought my Sony a7S and had a whole bunch of Canon glass I wanted to adapt to it. So I bought a Metabones adapter for it that would adapt my Canon full frame glass to the Sony a7S full frame FE mount. Um, and at about that same time, Michael Schmidt um, purchased one of these. It's the Comlight adapter. And I'll put the link to it in the description below. And he was having really good success with it, whereas I was having some issues with it, which I'll demonstrate here in a minute. Um, and this one was working pretty well for him. So I finally picked one up. The big difference between this one and the Metabones is price. This one costs about a quarter of the price of the Metabones. Metabones is a little too proud of their adapters, if you ask me. It's like $400 on B&H for the uh, Metabones, where this one is $102 on Amazon. I don't think they sell this on B&H, unfortunately. So what I'm gonna show you first, the first test I'm gonna show you is uh, just how fast you can like either take a picture or start shooting video um, with your camera already, lens, everything mounted, batteries in, all that good stuff. Um, just how fast you can do this. So let's go ahead and take a listen. All right, in the next test, I'm going to raise the aperture from f2.8 up to f8 and then back down again. I'm gonna do it for the com light first and then I'll do it for the Metabones. And I want you to only watch um, to see what happens on the display, but listen as well. Um, and what you're gonna notice is the Metabones is a bit different. So what you'll notice there is when I was going down on the com light, it was fine. But when I was going down from like F8 down to 2.8, that's when you would see this flash of light. So it would go from like 6.3, it would go wide open, then it would go down to 5.6. So it's like, ah, every time you make an adjustment. I don't film that way, so it's not that big of a deal. But it's just on the screen when you're making adjustments, you see this flash is it's just like... <laughs> very uh, irritating. So that's one of the reasons I really like the com light right there. Now, I will tell you there's two different modes on the Metabones. There's an advanced mode and green mode. The green mode is like green meaning saving power. So basically, like in the image stabilization, for instance, does not turn on until you either hit the shutter button to like take a picture or you go into movie mode. The image, the image stabilization will turn on. If you go to the menu mode, for instance, and you're in the menu, the image, station, image stabilization will turn off. So there's two different modes with the meta buttons and there's a little button you have to press in a certain sequence when you put the camera on uh, to the body with the lens and all this stuff and it can be very um, confusing. Um, so if you wanna go simple, uh, and you want to go inexpensive and it works well, definitely take a look at the com light. I have no association with this company whatsoever. I've never even heard of them before. All right, the next test I'm going to show you is when you take the battery out and then you put the battery back in to the camera. Let's say the battery just died. For instance, you put a fresh battery in. This is what's going to happen to you um, on both of them. You're going to get about a 15 second delay. I, what I've measured on the com light, it's about 13 seconds before you can start taking a picture or shooting video. It can seem like forever. You're like clients staring over your shoulder like, why aren't you recording or something like that? But on the um, Meta Bones, it's actually 16 seconds. So it's about three seconds longer it takes you. So go ahead and watch that test next. Here we go. Oh no, it is 15 seconds. Next up, I want you to hear what it sounds like when I'm putting the lens onto the adapter or the adapter onto the body. Just get an idea of what it sounds like, because sometimes sound means everything to, um, I'll 
just tell you right off the bat the way it felt, the amount of torque that's needing to apply. It was about the same. Um, it wasn't like one was harder to do. And again, I was doing all these tests on my Tamron 24 to 70, which is a lens I really love. Um, Canon really doesn't offer a 24 to 70 with image stabilization. So that's why I've used the Tamron a lot. Um, your mileage may vary on these, you know, adapters on depending on what Canon glass you're using. If it's coming from Sigma, Tamron, Takina, who knows? There's a lot of different parameters. You'd have to go to like Metabone's website to find out what actually works for image stabilization and etc. But anyway, go ahead and take a, a listen to this and um, just to let you know the way it felt, I would say going in and out, rotating it, I would say that the Metabones was just a little bit um, nicer. So one other thing I want to talk about is Tom Antos, a friend of mine, is running a contest with some great prizes. Um, I'm going to be a, a judge. That's all I'm doing is just judging. I really don't know that much about the contest. Basically, somehow their contest is going to get whittled down to the top 20 entries, and I'm going to watch the top 20 with a couple other judges. One of them being um, a big, uh, I'm a big fan of Mystery Guitar Man, Joe Penna, I believe his name is. I've never met him. Seems like a nice guy. Um, he'll be also one of the judges. Um, so if you want to look at all the details, to be honest, I don't know all the details about it. I think it's I think it's going to be done around May 4th or so. So I'll be watching around the beginning of May all, all the top 20. So that's pretty much it. Um, again, <laughs> if you want something for a quarter of the price that I believe works better just because it's simpler to use, you don't have to worry about advanced mode, green mode, any of that stuff. It just works kind of thing. Um, I'd advise using this one. All right, that's pretty much it. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.